why do I keep coming back to the link between community benefits and the broader development of a social economy? Well, colleagues, having worked as a, a public service advisor to New Democratic Party government, uh, to a Liberal government, to a Conservative government in Ontario, um, you know, one can dwell sometimes on the differences between them, but as a public servant working in a non-partisan capacity, the things that really struck me were the success stories in the public sector and in public policy that actually lived from one government to another despite the different nature of its political stripe. Uh, those are true success stories where um, governments of all political stripes recognize uh, something that adds public value when they see it. And, and the social economy initiatives are a terrific example of this. I've observed this in my academic work in both the UK and Canada. And in this case, um, it's important to note that the current government has continued to build on the work done by its predecessors, including the Stephen Harper government, and before Stephen Harper's government, the Paul Martin government. Prime Minister Harper's government was engaged with and actively supported social enterprise and social finance initiatives, and, and my colleagues on, on the other side of the chamber here will, will recall these things. Um, and both, of, both social enterprise and social finance initiatives are connected to Bill C-344 because they contribute to social value outcomes. Social enterprises are often suppliers of social and other services, so they have the potential to gain market share through social procurement initiatives. Senators, supporting the development of a broader social economy is a win-win situation for all of us. That's been recognized by governments of every stripe in this country. It's important that both construction companies and communities leverage money already being spent on these large projects. The return on those investments can be significant. The Welsh Government recent, recently measured the benefit to the economy following 35 projects worth approximately £465 million and found that communities saw £1.80 worth of benefit for every pound spent, an 80% return on the dollar that has additional social uh, benefits that cannot be as tangibly measured. From a corporate perspective, engaging in community benefits agreements could help to boost public image, image and employee engagement. It can also help protect or attract potential investors and retain investors by demonstrating a commitment to local um, uh, communities. They also benefit from unlocking the economic potential of local workers and businesses who may be uniquely skilled and knowledgeable about the particular region of an infrastructure project. More community benefit initiatives will see more social enterprises and the broader small business sector gaining market share, which is, I think, a desired outcome that we can all agree on. Honourable Senators, I close by saying I encourage you to think about what Bill C-344 can do for your communities, especially in places where there are large populations of vulnerable people in communities who have experienced major job shortages or in places where training opportunities are scarce. It makes sense to leverage existing investments to ensure that everyone wins. I encourage all of you to vote in favour of moving this bill to committee now and to seize the opportunity to improve social and economic conditions for the people in your communities who would benefit from our support. Thank you.